Republican Congressman Leonard Lance of New Jersey has also had asked about the Attorney General, asked him to recuse himself. Congressman, thank you for coming on the first time. Thank you. You know, I, I go back, and of course, I, I was doing this kind of work back in, um, I don't know what I was doing, but I was certainly in, in Washington trying to figure out Watergate. And one of the things I noticed was at some point there's a breaking point where the members of the president's own party join those who want the. It does, it's, not, it's not always party line. Now, you are, of course, an example of that calling for a recusal. Are you happy with this? Is this enough for the attorney general to say, I won't get involved in the case? Uh, I certainly favored recusal. Is that enough? I was among the first. We will see. And I think that uh, the attorney general should come before the Judiciary Committee, as Senator Klobuchar has just said, and uh, we'll see. Under the, oath. Under oath, yes. What do you make of the phrase, I learned it from Perry Mason, of... Uh, the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but. Do you believe he gave that kind of answer when asked if you had anything to do with the Russians? To, uh, to, to Senator Frank? Did he give a forthright answer I don't think or a you, narrow answer? I don't think he was clear and complete. I'm not sure. Is it, it was, the whole truth? I'm not sure it was a lie, but he certainly was not clear and complete, and he should answer the question clearly and completely, and I hope there's an opportunity for him to do that. Do you think the president is telling us all that he knows? Because I'll just tell you, as we've just talked to the senator there, his son-in-law, who he cherishes and, and respects, met with the Russian ambassador uh, with Flynn. Then later on, he said when he learned about the Flynn meeting and he didn't come forth, they got rid of Flynn, right? Mm -hmm. Because he didn't tell the truth to the vice president. Did Trump ever tell the vice president? Did Trump ever tell anybody else that his son-in-law was in that meeting? I mean, we now know that he, I, I compared this to Columbo, the old television show where Peter Falk knew, the bad guys knew everything. Trump knows everything about the relationship with the Russians. Uh, and we're only getting this drip, 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 just little uh, drips each day. Uh, uh, I, I think the president is a big picture man, and I'm not sure that he knows about all of the meetings that occurred. He asked the Russians to disclose, or to dig in and expose all the 20, uh, 30,000 emails. He thought it was a funny national call. They asked him to do it. What do you make of that? Uh, I think that uh, he should have concentrated on his campaign. And I don't think the Russians should be running his campaign. I don't like the Russian government, Chris. I think they're up to no good. I think Vladimir Putin is up to no good. I'm a co-sponsor of a bill of Steny Hoyer that says that the sanctions should not be without the approval of Congress. I think the Russian government is up to no good. Do you think Flynn was playing footsie with him? Uh, it's, it's possible, and of course he has been discharged, and I'm very pleased with the new okay. national security advisor. Who do you trust at justice? We've got a deputy attorney general now, who the, uh, the responsibility falls to him now to oversee any investigation of this whole Russian connection. Uh, we've got J Jim Comey over there, the FBI director, has a mixed record. Sometimes people on the mm -hmm. left really like what he does when he stands <laughs> up to Ashcroft or something. Other days they don't like what he does when he put out the word about Hillary 10 days before the election. Do you trust him? Uh, I, I ironically think that Jim Comey may be the person who will be uh, the honest broker in all this based upon prior experience to, to, to keep the wagon centered yeah yeah yes and um, Trey Grouty said uh, earlier to Greta uh, on in this network sure. that, that uh, uh, they had a, a very productive meeting today in the Intelligence Committee with with, with uh, Jim Comey well, it's all on him then, because uh, do you think Congress should be able to rely on, this, on the FBI to get information if the FBI won't even admit they're investigating? This is the problem. This is the conundrum. The FBI won't say they're investigating. Today in his press conference, the attorney general wouldn't say they're investigating this whole Russian thing. And yet the U.S. Senate, the U.S. Congress relies on the FBI to get counterintelligence information. So how are they going to get it? They're not even admitting they're doing it. Uh, I would imagine uh, in this uh, uh, classified testimony before the Intelligence Committee, the members of that committee, and I'm not on that committee, yeah. probably had a better handle on that. Great. Thank you for coming on. Thank you. Thank you very much, Leonard Lane.